So come to the front of your mat, shake everything out, and bring your toes together at the front of your mat. Spread your toes really, really wide. Leave a little bit of space between each toe. Wiggle them around, look down at your feet, admire them. And then travel up the legs, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward. Pull the belly button into the spine, roll the shoulders down and back. Find your perfect posture and let your palms face forward. Really roll the shoulders down and back, lengthen through the spine, push the fingertips into the mat. And we'll inhale, lift the arms above the head, reaching up, looking up to the ceiling, and then exhale, draw up the arms down, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, lift the arms up, reaching up, filling up the lungs with air. And then exhale, draw up the arms down, bringing the chin down to the chest, really pushing the fingertips into the ground, feel a stretch on the shoulders. Inhale, lift, reach, stretch, fill up the lungs. Exhale, pushing out every last bit of air making more room for your next inhale. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, arms down. Three more breaths here. Inhaling in through the back of the nose like a snore, not a sniff, making each breath deeper and deeper, and then exhaling through the mouth, pushing out all of the air, bringing the chin down to the chest. Good, last two, inhale, lift. Keep squeezing the glutes, keep pulling the belly button into the spine, and then exhale, drop the arms down, chin comes down to the chest. Last one, inhale, lift. Make it the deepest breath of your day. Really fill up the lungs, stretch up to the ceiling, and then exhaling, dropping the arms down, chin comes down to the chest. Good, keep the chin to the chest, make fists with your hands, and really push the fists into the ground. Feel it relax through your shoulders. And then bring the chest up to neutral. Roll the shoulders back. Working into the upper spine. Roll the shoulders forward. And then go back once more. Good. Really grounding down to the feet. Reach the arms back behind you. Just pulling the arms back. And really looking up to the ceiling, trying to grab a pillow behind you. So really pull, pushing the fingers into each other. Just feel a nice opening in your shoulders and in your chest, opening up through the rib cage. And then relax this. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Interlock the fingers, release just the index fingers, stretch up out of the waist, and slowly tick tock right and left, right and left. Filling into the spine, just warming up through the core, through the side body. Keep squeezing the legs and pushing the feet into the ground. And then we'll stop in the center. Pulling the arms behind the ears, ground down to the feet. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. And exhale, slowly lean over to the right and the hips to the left. Really squeeze the glutes. Use that bottom arm to pull the top arm, lengthening the spine. Keeping the chin lifted, finding lots of room in the neck. Keep pushing down into the feet, keep squeezing the glutes. Pull the belly button into the spine. Inhale, lift back up to the center. Relax the head and neck, shake that off a little bit. We'll go back to the other side. So inhale, reach the arms up, lift up, stretch up out of the waist, and slowly lean over to the left and the hips to the right. Again, use that bottom arm to pull the top arm. It's not about how deep we come, but about how much we can lengthen the spine and stretch open. Keep the weight evenly distributed in the feet. Keep the chin lifted. Keep reaching over the side, keep squeezing the glutes, pull the belly button into the spine, reach just a little more. And then bring it back to the center. Relax through the head and neck. Shake out the shoulders. Still waving up the body. So inhale, lift the arms up, and this time palms go up to the ceiling. So we'll just stretch open the wrist. So push the left wrist up to the sky a little more. And then the right. And then the left. And then the right. 
Good. And then relax the hands, bring them behind the head. Gently push the, hand, the head into the hands. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the chest and slowly draw in the head and shoulders back. Keep lifting the chest up to the sky. Keep squeezing the glutes. Allow the glutes to protect your sacrum. Using our muscles to protect our spine. Keep the weight evenly distributed in the feet. Small sips of air. Inhale back to center. Bring the chin down to the chest. And then very gently push the head into the hands. Very gently just feel into the back of the neck. A little bit of strengthening. And then bring it up to neutral. Second back bend. So squeeze the glutes. If you want to extend the arms up, feel free to take that. Or just squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the chest and slowly dropping the head and the shoulders back or the arms back. Really keep lifting the chest up to the sky. If someone has a giant hook and they're pulling you up by the sternum. Squeeze into the glutes. Keep lifting. Find a little bit more space. And then bring it back to the center. Good. Inhale, arms lift. And then exhale, come down into a nice low chair. Let's just feel into the legs a little bit. So try and keep the weight in the heels. Feel into that. Feel into that strengthening in your legs. Gently roll into the toes. Feel into the backs of the, the toes tendons. Try and keep the heels on the ground. Good. Roll back to the heels. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down. Low chair. Belly connects to the thighs. Keep squeezing the knees together. You can bring the thumbs to the sternum. Rolling the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down into that chair. Last time. Belly connects to the thighs. And then draw up the hands to the ground and gently lift the hips up to the sky. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. Feel into your hamstrings. Maybe this is the first time that you've stretched your legs all day. So take your time here, just gently moving back and forth. No need to rush. Allow the head to relax, shaking it yes, shaking it no. And slightly bend the knees. Keep the knees glued together. Gently walk the hands over to the right foot, the outside of the right foot. And gently squeeze the shoulder into the hip. Feel the strength being on your side body here. Make sure you keep your knees together. Don't let one hip raise up a little more. Keep the knees together. Bring the hands to the center. And then slowly walk over to the left. Gently squeeze the shoulder into the hip. Opening up the side body a little more. Knees staying together. And then bring it back to the center. Bend the knees deeply. Use them like an elevator to inhale. Push yourself up standing. And then exhale, arms down. Cleansing breath. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms down. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, come back down into that nice low chair. Belly comes down to the thighs. And we're going to bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, finding a little deeper twist this time. You can always bring the elbow in between the knees if you don't want to go so deep. Again, feel into your knees. Make sure that your knees are aligned. If you want to open up your wings, you can always open up your wings. Then slowly bring the hands back to heart center. Come into the center and inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down, low chair. And twist over to the left. So right elbow to the outside of the left knee, or you can bring it to the middle again. Feel into the twist. And then if you want, you can open up your wings on this side as well. Keep the knees together. Keep the belly connected to the thighs. Squeeze into your core. Bring the hands to the center. Back to the center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back down. Low chair. Last time. 
Draw up the hands to the ground and lift the hips. Spin the knees back and forth, back and forth. Very nice. Feel into those hamstrings again. See if you have maybe a little bit more space this second time. And we'll slowly push the right foot back, followed by the left, coming into your plank. The upper body should be feeling nice and warm. So slightly bend the elbows, really feel into that upper body. Squeeze the legs behind you and push out through the heels. Trying to keep the legs really straight and strong, allowing every single muscle in our body to support us. And then gently lift the hips up to the ceiling, pull the belly button into the spine as you come into a downward facing walk. The feet are about hip width apart, and gently bend, bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. Feel into your calves and your Achilles tendons. Push down to the fingers. Really try and push the chest back towards the legs. You should feel a nice stretch on your hamstrings. You should also be feeling a little stretch and strengthening going on through the upper body. Try and rotate the armpits in towards each other. And we'll inhale, lift the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest. In your plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist. Strong twisting here, engage through the obliques. Inhale, lift the leg up. And exhale, bring the foot up between the hands. Draw the back knee down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Going into a low lunge. Squeezing the left glute, gently pushing the hips forward. Knee is always staying behind the toes. Try and pull the knee towards the heel, heel towards the knee. Open up through the chest if you want a little bit more of a back bend. Really stabilize through the hips. And we'll bring the hands heart or down to the mat. You can stay down the knee if you wish, or turn the back toes under and lift the back leg up. Ground down to the left hand, inhale, lift the right arm up to the sky. The back leg is nice and straight and strong, really pushing out through the heel. Allow your legs to support you here. Try not to put too much weight into that grounded hand. Gently push the knee towards the shoulder, engage through the inner thigh. A lot of today we're working on stable hips, stable and open hips, as well as core. So gently draw the right hand down. Back foot turns down 45 degree angle, like we're coming into a warrior two. And then bring the right elbow to the knee. Stack the left shoulder on top of the right shoulder. So we're just coming into warrior two legs. This is actually an extended side angle. We can lift the left arm up to the sky. Left arm reaching up to the sky, or you can drop it across the face, reaching to the front. Feel into your legs. Make sure your knee is not going in or out. As you feel stronger, you can start to gently put less and less pressure on that elbow. Very nice, everyone. Inhale, windmill the arms up, come into a reverse warrior, straighten the front knee, reach the right arm up to the sky, and then bend that front knee, finding our strength. The left hand is just resting on the leg. Try not to put too much weight into the hand. Exhale, come back down, warrior two. Roll the shoulders down back behind you. The front heel is aligned with the, out, with the uh, arch of the back foot. Back leg is nice and straight and strong, pushing down into the outside edge of the back foot. All of our weight shouldn't be forward, should be evenly distributed. Keep the shoulders rolled down and back behind you, looking out over the front middle finger. Make sure you pay attention to that front knee. Don't let it go in or out. It needs to go perfectly straight forward. Pull the legs in towards each other. We're opening up through the hips, but we're also stabilizing through the hips. Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior again. Reaching the right hand up. If you need to straighten the front knee, allow yourself to do that, give yourself a little break. Or try and keep that knee bent, building strength. 
Exhale back, warrior two. Reach the arms up, turning the hips forward. Finding your warrior one. It's the same foot position. We're still really pushing down to the outside into the back foot. You can draw the hands back behind you. Interlock the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest, opening up through the heart, finding that back bend. And we're going to exhale, drop the chest down by the knee, reaching the arms up to the sky. Don't let your chest rest on the leg. Allow your legs to support you. Inhale, lift up. Open up the chest. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lifting yourself back up once more. Releasing the hands, opening up warrior two. Straighten through the front knee. Inhale, reach the front arm forward, kicking the hip to the back wall. And slowly draw the hand down to the shin, reaching the left arm up to the sky. Finding a nice triangle pose here. Very nice, everyone. Really squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward. We're trying to fit our bodies between two panes of glass. So keep the belly button pulling into the spine, engage through the core, and always squeeze your butt. And everything you do in life, always squeeze your butt. <laughs> it always helps. <laughs> Lift the left arm up. Find this strength, this stretch once more. Inhale, slowly bring yourself back up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Last one on this foot. And we're going to windmill the arms down, coming into a high lunge. And slowly push the right foot back. Find your plank. Settle into those arms. Elbows are slightly bent. Elbows raise past the ribs as you lower yourself down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Squeeze the butt, inhale to lift, find your cobra. You can always take an upward facing dog, or a cobra, full cobra, if you wish. Just feel into your own back. And we're going to curl the toes under and lift the hips up to the sky, finding your downward facing dog. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. See if one side feels a little different than the other. It may. That's okay. We're going to even it out, so don't worry. We're first going to take it through some balancing. So lift the right leg up once more and bring the right foot up between the hands. Slowly start bringing the back knee in. Hands come in front of the right foot, and then lift the left leg straight up. Put into a half handstand here. So try and square the hips. Feel into that right leg. And then bring the left knee to the right knee hip. Squeeze the legs together. Finding a little twisting in the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze the legs together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze the legs together. Once more. Inhale, lift. And slowly draw the left foot down to the right. Find your forward fold. Bend both knees. Inhale, push yourself up standing. Exhale, arms down. Cleansing breath. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms down. Good. Find your balance on your right foot. And we're going to bring the left leg straight up in front. Place the hand on the quad. Make a wall with the hand and gently push the leg into the hand. So we're working on the psoas muscle, a really deep hip flexor muscle. Next, our pelvis to our spine. Relax this and gently lift up again. Doesn't take a lot of pressure here, just a little bit. It's a really small muscle. Just a 20% effort will automatically engage it. Relax. Lift that up once more. And now bring the leg out to the side. Captain Morgan. Gently push the hand and the leg into each other. 
and then relax this leg down. Good. Shake out the ankles. And from here, we're on our right foot. We're going to lift that left leg up once more, and then reach the arms up with it, adding on some movement with our balance. Find a focus point, something on the floor about two to three feet in front of you, something to help hold your attention. We're going to slowly kick the leg to the back wall, arms dropping down shoulder height for an airplane. Keep the front knee bent slightly. Allow the muscles to support you. Try and turn the toes to the ground. Try and keep the hips even. Draw up the hands to the ground and bring the left foot down to the right. Forward fold. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. Excellent job. Slowly push both feet back. Find your plank once more. And then lift the hips up to the sky, finding your downward facing dog. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. And let's work to the other side. So inhale, lift the left leg straight up. Bring the left knee into the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the foot up between the hands. Back knee goes down. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the arms up. Good. Really squeezing into the right glute, gently pushing the hips forward. Knee stays behind the toe. Opening up through the chest. Shine that heart up to the sky. Pull the knee towards the uh, heel, heel towards the knee. Stabilize the hips while you're opening. If we really squeeze the glutes, the hip extensor, our hip flexor feels stable and secure and it'll open a little bit more. Gently bring the hands down. Back, to, back toes pull under if you wish, or you can keep the knee to the ground. Right hand stays grounded. Inhale, lift the left arm up to the sky. Finding this twist here. Squeeze the back leg. Push the heel out through the door. Reach the left arm up to the sky. Gently push the front inner thigh or the front knee towards your shoulder. Engage the inner thigh. And you can slowly start lifting the hand off the ground if you feel stronger. Good. Draw the left hand down. Good. Back foot goes down at that 45 degree angle. And again, we're just going to bring our elbow to the knee. And then stacking the shoulder, the right shoulder on top of the left. Excellent. Hold here. And as you feel ready, you can reach the right arm up to the sky. Finding the side angle. Or you can reach the arm across the face, reaching towards the front of the knee. Try not to put too much weight into that elbow on your knee. Really squeeze the glutes, opening up through the back hip. Inhale, lift the arms up, and straighten the front knee, reach the left arm up to the sky. Find this reverse, and then gently bend the front knee. The reverse warrior, right hand just resting on the back leg. Try not to put too much weight into it. Reaching the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, come down, warrior two. So check into your feet again. Make sure the front heel is aligned with the back arch of the foot. Straighten the back leg. Really push down into the outside edge of the foot. Roll the shoulders down and back. Lengthen through the neck. Gaze over that front middle finger. Very nice, everyone. Keep tucking the hips underneath. Squeeze the core. Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. And we'll come down, exhale, warrior two. Reach the arms forward, come into this warrior one. Squeeze the right glute, really twisting the hips to the front of the room. Dropping the arms back behind you. Interlock the fingers, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly drop the chest down by the leg. Find your humble warrior. 
Try not to rest the chest on the leg. Allow the legs to support you. Reach the arms up to the sky. Allow the head and neck to relax. Inhale, lift up. Shine your heart. Exhale, slowly pull it forward. Inhale, lift. Reaching up. And then exhale, slowly pull forward once more. Inhale, lift up once more. Release the grip and open the arms out to the side. Find your warrior two. Straighten the front knee. Reverse the warrior. You can always keep the front knee bent if you wish. And last time, coming back to warrior two. We'll all straighten through the front knee. Inhale, reach the left arm forward. Kick the hip to the back and then draw the left hand down to the shin. Reaching the right arm up to the sky. Good. Really trying to stack the shoulders on top of each other. Squeezing through the glutes. This is a hip opener. So make sure that you still are pushing down to the outside edge of the back foot. Trying to fit the body between two panes of glass. Very nice, everybody. Feeling really nice stretch on your right side body. Tighten the core. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, warrior two. And we're going to draw windmill the arms down. And push the left foot back. Point into your plank. Elbows stay slightly bent. Feel into the shoulders. Legs are nice and straight and strong. And slowly lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Elbows raise past the ribs. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, slightly lift the chest. Cobra. Or coming into your upper jaw. Toes curl under. Inhale, lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. Roll the shoulder blades toward, or the armpits towards each other. Push into the fingers. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. Let's find our balance again. So inhale, lift the left leg up, and bring the left foot up between the hands. Back foot starts to come in a little bit. Hands come in front of the left foot, and then lift the right leg straight up. Good. Finding this half handstand here, Bring the knees to the knee pit. Squeeze the legs together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to knee pit. Squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze once more. Inhale, lift. And then drop the right foot down to the left. On your forward fold. Bend the knees back and forth, back and forth. Allow the head to hang heavy. Feel into the leg. You should be feeling almost even now. Bend both knees. Inhale, push yourself up. Exhaling, arms down. Cleansing breath. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms down. Excellent. Find the balance on your left foot. And we'll bring the right leg straight up in front. Hand resting on the quad. And gently make a wall with that hand and gently push the leg into the hand. Feel into your psoas, that really deep hip flexor muscle. Very little pressure. Relax. Lift up again. Try not to sink into your hips. Try and stay lifted. Relax. And lift up once more. And this time out to the side for Captain Morgan. Find your focus point. Balance. And then relax this leg down. Excellent. Roll out the ankles. Balance on that left foot once more. Spread the toes wide. Get a nice wide base of support. Identify your focus point. Find that spot on the floor, two to three feet in front. Reach the right leg up. Lift the arms up to the sky. And we'll exhale. Slowly push the leg to the back, dropping the arm shoulder height, coming into your airplane. Trying to bring the body parallel to the ground. 
The higher the leg kicks, the lower the, low, the lower the front body can reach. Keep the toes pointing down. Keep the front knee or the standing leg slightly bent. Feel into your muscles. You never want to stack bone on top of bone. Drop the hands down to the ground and then bring the right foot to the left. Find that forward foot. Excellent. Shake the head yes and no. Bend both knees. Inhale, push yourself up standing. Exhale, arms down. Good. Find your balance on your right foot. We're going to do a hip opener, hip opening balance. So we'll start by bringing the hands to the heart. Connect the thumb to the breastbone. And then sit down into a small little chair and bring your left elbow or left ankle to your right knee. And then try and sit down a little lower. Really feel into that left hip. So you can feel that left glute opening. Stay strong through the foot. Keep the foot flexed, the toes pulling back. Focus. TV and swallow a little lower. Inhale, lift up. And drop that foot down. Excellent. Roll out that right ankle. Find the balance on the left foot this time. Spread the toes wide. Slightly bend the knees. Bring the hands heart center. Connect thumb to breastbone. Slightly bend the knees. And then bring the right ankle to the left knee. And then try and squat down a little lower. Feel into that right glute, the right hip. Keep the foot flexed, toes coming back towards you. Very nice, everyone. So you can squat down just a little lower. Inhale, lift up. And drop that foot down. Excellent. Roll up the left hand. Grab some water if you need it. This is a good water break. Yep, big gulp of water in like a minute. <laughs> Keep you hydrated throughout the day. It's all the body can process at once. Thank <laughs> you. Pass that along. I will. That's a very good tip. One gulp of water in 30 minutes. I can handle that. I know. Yeah. I can handle that. That's not so daunting. As somebody yeah. saying, you have to drink 80 ounces of water. And you're like, I don't know what. And then you drink 40 all at once. And you're like, I have to go to the bathroom all the time. I know. Time. It's true. I'm not doing this Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> all right. So we're at the front of our, oh, I have one more. No, we'll come to the front of the mat. <clears throat> so bring the feet together. A little bit more hip opening. Inhale, reach the arms up. Stretch up to the sky, and then we'll exhale, swan dive forward, or you can come down into the chair and into the forward fold. Good. Lift the hips, bend the knees back and forth, back and forth here. Allow the head to relax. Take a best note. And we'll push the left foot back. <laughs> so coming into this lunge, straighten the back leg. Squeeze the left glute. Inhale, lift the arms up. Keep the heel off the ground so we're coming into a high lunge. Again, just a really great hip opener here. Squeeze the legs together. Look at the front knee. Make sure it's going perfectly straight forward and not in or out. And then we'll draw up the hands down. Back knee comes down to the ground. Walk the right foot to the outside edge of the mat. Hands come to the inside of the foot. And from here, we're just gonna slowly start bringing our elbows down to the ground. You may not make it very far. That's totally fine. Maybe you're just holding out your hands and just doing a little bending of the elbows. Great. I just really want you to feel into that right front, or the front hip. Feel into that psoas. And bring it up to the hands again. 
Back toes pull under. Push the right foot back, coming into your plank. And we're going to move into a side plank. So if you need to set the right knee down and reach up to the side, you can do that. Or you can try and, or you can keep the legs extended, reaching the left arm up to the sky. Whatever feels good for you right now. Excellent. Stay grounded through that palm. Good. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Very nice, everyone. Keep lifting through the hips. Find the stability in your shoulder. Squeeze through the glutes, always. Reach the arm up. Find a little bit more strength. And then bring the left hand down. Drop the knees to the ground. Elbows grace past the ribs. Inhale, come up into your pillow or your upward dog. Toes curl under, lift the hips up to the ceiling, down we go. Inhale, lift the left leg straight up, and bring the left foot up between the hands. So, back leg is squeezing nice and hard, pushing out to the heel. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift the chest up. Squeeze the glutes. Pull the feet in towards each other. Stabilize through the front knee. Stabilize through the hips. Very nice. Full lower body working here. Strong, powerful pose. And we're going to drop the hands down. Back knee comes down to the ground. Walk the foot to the outside of the mat. Hands come to the inside of the foot. And then very slowly start walking or working the elbows down to the ground. Feel into the front of the left hip. So see if you feel any differences side to side. Maybe you notice one hip's a little tighter than the other. It's actually pretty natural. We all usually have a tighter side. We do things every day that are not symmetrical. Driving, we only do it with one foot. We all typically stand when we're in a standing pose. I like to kick our hips to the side and stand on one foot more than the other. So we're always striving for balance, so try and find that same spot, that same depth that you did on the other side. If you can find it, great. If you can't, maybe you can't go as far, we always want to work towards the weaker side. The next time you do this, don't go down as far. And we'll bring it back to the hands. Back toes pull under and push the left foot back. Come into your plank. And draw the left knee down if you want to come to your knee down plank. Or extend the legs and just roll over onto the left hand, reaching the right arm up to the sky. Really push into the hips. Push this up to the sky. Keep lifting. Reach that top arm up. Someone's reaching down to grab you. Reach up for their hands, find a little bit more space, a little bit more strength. Keep the core tight, reach up a little more, and then slowly drop the hand down. Find that plank, excellent. Drop down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, elbows, grace, half ribs. And just lower the right, the left cheek down to the mat, arms reach back by the sides. Completely relax here. Find your breath. Connect with your breath. Feel the heart rate start to lower. And we'll bring the chin to the mat. Hands come underneath the chin. Toes stay down on the ground. I'm just going to do some back extensions, really uh, strengthening through the lower back. So squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the arms, and then lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Once more, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. Right cheek down on the mat, arms down by the sides. 
Feel into your neck here. Does this feel the same on this side as it does on the other? It's a little different. Bring the chin to the mat. Hands come underneath the shoulders or underneath the chin. Squeeze the glutes. Second set of back extension. We're going to add on some arm movements. So squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the chest. Extend the arms to the side. Bring them underneath the chin and then lower. Inhale, lift. Arms to the side. Underneath the chin and lower. Inhale, lift. Side. Under and down. Inhale, lift. Side, under, down. Last one, lift, side, under, and down. Good, left cheek down, the mat, arms down by the sides. Every last bit of air that you breathe, try and send it to the back. Every sip of air that we take is filled with oxygen molecules. And they go down to the lungs, then into the bloodstream, and then that blood travels to our muscles. Healing, repairing, oxygenating the muscles. Bring the chin back to the mat. Hands come underneath the chin. One second. Squeeze the glutes, adding on a few more arm movements. So inhale, lift the chest, arms to the side. Reach the arms back, reach the arms forward. Arms out to the side, underneath the chin, and lower. That's one, we have four more. Inhale, lift, side, reach them back, reach them forward, out to the side, under the chin, and down. Inhale, up, side, all the way back, all the way forward, out to the side, Underneath the chin and down. Inhale up, side, all the way back, all the way forward, side, under, down. Last one, up, side, all the way back, all the way forward, out to side, underneath the chin and down. Good. Right cheek down the mat, arms down by the sides. Feel your heart rate start to lower immediately. Feel that tension start to dissolve from the back. Always wanting to have a good, strong back. It's part of our core. Helps us in all of our movements. Bring the chin to the mat. Hands come underneath the shoulder. Squeeze into the glutes. Actually, we're going to reach the arms back behind us. Sorry. We're going to lift the legs this time. So squeeze into the glutes. Inhale, lift the chest and lift the legs. Come flying into the air. Looking out straight in front. Drop the right shoulder down. Lift the left shoulder up. This is our last back extension. So find your strength. Drop the left shoulder down, right shoulder lifts. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep lifting the legs up. Bring it to the center. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, drop it down. Good. Left cheek down and that arms down by the sides. Excellent job. Last back extension for the day. Great work, everybody. Now we'll bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Curl the toes under and scoot your butt up into the air like an inch And then use your arm strength to push away from the ground. Find a slight rounding here in your spine and pull the wrist towards the knees, knees towards the wrist. Yes, I know. Engage the core. Relax. Gently pull again. As we squeeze through the core, we'll relax through our lower back. Reciprocal inhibition. Relax. 
and gently pull again. As one muscle tightens, the opposite or opposing muscle relaxes. We feel a little more stretch. And then relax. Good. Push yourself up to a kneeling position. And we'll extend the right leg out to the side for a gait. We're going to turn the toes to the side. Maybe your toes touch the ground. That's super hard on my ankle. Got to get a foot cramp. So I like to turn my toes up. Whichever way feels most comfortable for you. Inhale, lift the left arm up by the ear. Stretch up and slowly lean over to the right. The right hand is just resting on the leg. Try not to put any weight into it. We'll use that left arm to reach towards the side wall. I'm squeezing through the glutes, pushing the hips forward. Bring it up to the center. Drop the hands down to the ground. Turn the toes forward, so towards me. And then slowly walk the hands over to the foot. Really try and feel into the outside edge of the foot. Feel into the outside edge of the lower leg. Really hard area to stretch. If you have, if you've ever had any kind of ankle injuries, this may be really, really tight. So just feel into it. Bring the hands to the center. And push yourself up. And bring this right knee in. We'll take it to the other side. So left leg out to the side. So it's either point down or up, whatever feels most comfortable. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Reaching up and then slowly lean over to the left. Try not to put too much weight on that hand. Really using that right arm to reach towards that side wall. Very nice, everyone. Really pulling the belly button into the spine. Feel the strengthening in the core. Inhale up. And then drop the hands down. Turn the toes towards me. Push down into the outside edge of the foot. And then walk your hands over to that left. Again, see if you feel any differences side to side. Maybe one side feels a little tighter than the other. And then think about your hips. Which hip was tighter than the other? And think about your neck. Is one side of your neck tighter than the other? The whole body is connected by collagen sheet, your fascia. So if we injure one part, maybe our foot, it can, we can actually see, uh, we can start to see that progression of the injury in our shoulders or in our back or our hips. Everything's connected in the body. Walk the hands back to center. Good, bring that left hand in. So we're just here in all fours. We're going to cross out the ankles and roll back onto the glutes. Send the right leg out to the side. Turn the toes back towards you. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Turn towards the right leg, bend the knee, and then slowly bring the chest down to the legs. Trying to connect the forehead to the knee. Really pull the toes back. Feel into your calf and Achilles tendon. And once your forehead touches the knee, then slowly start straightening the leg. Keep the left shoulder moving towards the center. Really feel into your hamstrings, but more importantly, this is a lower back stretch. So by really focusing on pulling the forehead to the knee, you feel this in our lower back quite a bit. Maybe you're tightening the glutes. And then gently relax this, walk your hands up. And let's switch to the other side. So left leg out to the side, right foot in your thigh. Bend the left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up, stretch up to the sky. Slowly turn towards the left. And bend the knee and slowly bring the chest down to the leg. Trying to bring the forehead to the knee. Once your forehead touches the knee, then slowly start straightening the leg. Keep the right shoulder moving in towards the center. And 
Pull the toes back, feel into your calf and your Achilles tendon. Feel it in your hamstrings, feel it in your glutes, feel it in your back, your calf, your Achilles tendon, and your foot maybe. Really stretching the entire back side of the body. And then release this, walk the hands up, staying up nice and tall. Good. Bring the feet together for a bound angle. Sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders down and back. And you can grab onto the toes, or maybe onto the bottoms of the feet or the ankle. And the feet can be out as far as you need to, so it's whatever feels comfortable. Really working with the hips once more, squeeze the glutes and try and push the knees into the ground. Open up through the inner thighs. Try and keep the spine as straight as possible. Pull the belly button into the floor. And relax this. Place the hands on the knees. Gently push the knees into the hands. Very gently. Again, we're going for really small muscles here, so 20% effort is plenty. Relax. Gently press again. Relax. Gently press once more. And relax. Hands under the knees. Fold the knees in towards each other. And we're going to slowly roll all the way down onto our backs. another hip stabilizer. So plant the feet on the ground. Feet are hip width apart. Arms resting down by the sides. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. We're trying to find a nice flat spine, lengthening through the neck. Push into the feet. Push out through the knees. Really squeeze the glutes. Pull the heels back towards the bum. And slowly lower down. Don't let the hips touch. Inhale, push right back up for one. Lower down, inhale up for two. Lower down, inhale up three. Lower down, inhale up four. Last one, lower down, inhale up five. Hold. Energetically keep pulling the knees towards each other. Engage through the inner thighs, engage through the whole entire leg. And then slowly lower the glutes all the way down to the mat. Excellent. Lengthen through the spine. We're going to walk the right foot out to the side. And then bring the right knee towards the left foot. So feel this internal rotation of your hip. Don't allow your body to just be completely lax here. Always slightly engage the muscles. You don't have to engage every single muscle, but the muscle's job is to actually hold your bones up. So don't let your bones just go crazy. Engage enough muscles so that they can support that framework, that structure of your body. Always staying safe in our poses. Bring the right leg back up, walk that foot in. Left foot goes out to the side and gently drop the knee towards the right foot. Feel the internal rotation on the left foot. may not have very much movement here, that's fine. This isn't something we do every day, but it's really important for sports. Whenever we're moving, we're making sharp turns. Really good for our hips. Really good for our full range of motion. And bring the leg back up to the center. Again, walk that foot in. And we'll place the right ankle on the left knee. Flex through both feet, and then lift the legs up. So you can either just hold here, really using the strength in your left leg to push the ankle towards your shoulder, or reach through and grab onto the left hamstring, and use your arm strength to feel that stretch in your glutes. Supine pigeon. Really work on keeping the feet flexed to help protect the knee.
And we'll slowly lower the legs down. Both feet flat to the mat. Left ankle on the right knee. Flex to the feet and then lift the legs up. And use that strength to use the strength of the leg to push the ankle towards you. Or reach through and grab onto the hamstring. And we'll slowly lower the feet down to the mat. Good. Arms are dropped down by the sides. We're going to take one final bridge, but this time we're really working towards a nice back bend. So trying to go a little deeper. So the feet are about hip width apart, and you should be able to almost be able to reach down with your fingers and touch the heels. Some people may be able to do that. It depends on your body proportions. But you don't want the feet too far in front. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift the hips up into the air. Walk the arms underneath your body, trying to interlock the fingers. Good. Keep squeezing through the knees. Lift the hips. Find a little bit more space. Keep lifting up. Find that arch in your back. Find one more inch. Lift, squeeze. And then the leaf, release that grip and slowly drop the hips down to the ground. Hold here for just a moment. And then we'll bring the legs up to 90 degrees, making the table with your shins. Hands come to the quads and very gently push the legs into the hands. Make a wall with the hands. Feel your lower back relax. Feel your lower abs engage. Release. Gently press again. Release. And gently press once more. And release. Good. Keep the legs here. Bring the hands behind the head. We'll take it through bicycles. So push the tongue into the roof of the mouth. Stabilize through the neck. And bring the left elbow to the right knee. Extending the left leg out. Hold here for a moment. And then switch and hold. And we're going to alternate. Here we go. So left, right, left, right, left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch and hold. Make sure you're not pulling on your head. Switch and hold. Allow your neck to be stable. Push the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And we'll alternate. Right, left, right, left. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. And last set. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch and hold. Switch and hold. And relax. Good. Knees come into the chest and just gently rock side to side. We love it. Left leg extends down to the ground. Keep the right knee into the chest. Fold the hands, place them right below the knee on the shin. And gently pull the knee in towards the shoulder. Flex the left foot back. Keep the left calf on the ground. And release. Lift the, left, lift the right leg straight up. Flex through the foot. And slowly lower the leg down for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Left knee comes into the chest. Fold the hands, place them right below the knee on the shin. And gently pull the knee in towards the shoulder. Feel into the front of the hip. Right up to your hip flexor. Flex back on the right foot. Keep the calf on the ground. Release, lift the left leg straight up into the air, and slowly lower the leg down for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bend the knees, bring the legs up 90 degrees, 
Place the hands underneath the hips. We're almost there. One more really good hip exercise. Lift the legs straight up. Keep the feet flexed. And we're going to slowly lower the legs out to the side for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back together. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Right leg lowers down with the heel. Six, five, four, straight down. Three, two, one. Inhale straight up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, left leg straight down, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift back up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, knees come into the chest. We'll just do one set of that. Gently rock side to side. Extend the arms out to the sides, T position. And slowly draw the legs over to the right. Keep the knees off the ground. The knees are touching. Look past the left fingertips. Engage through the core. Really use your obliques to help you twist here. And we'll bring it up to the center. And then slowly drop the legs over to the left. Keep the shoulders down on the ground. Engage through the core. And then we push the knees into each other. Gaze past the fingertips to the right knee. And then bring the legs up to the center. And slowly lower the left leg out and then the right. For final relaxation. Palms facing up to the sky. Toes drop open to the sides. Closing the eyes. <clears throat> really feeling into the body. We're going to work through the rotation of consciousness. It's just focusing on each body part as I call it out. Directing your attention to it. And then just consciously relaxing it, letting it go, and moving on to the next part. So we'll start on the right side. Feel your right thumb. And this. Right thumb. Index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Middle finger. Pinky finger. Middle finger ring finger. Pinky finger. Palm of the right hand. Back of the right hand. Right wrist. Forearm. Elbow. Upper arm, right shoulder, right armpit, right side of the chest, right side of the abdomen, right hip, right glute, right quadricep, the entire right knee, right calf, right heel, ankle, Sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, all of the toes on the right foot. Big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Feel the entire right side of the body. Feel it growing heavier and heavier and sinking deeper and deeper into the earth. Then feel the left side of the body. Left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand. Left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, 
left shoulder, armpit, left side of the chest, left side of the abdomen, hip, glute, body set, the entire left knee, calf, heel, ankle, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, all the left toes, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Feel the entire left side of your body. Feel your entire body sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth. Feel your forehead. Feel your right eye, your left eye. Your right cheek and your left cheek. Feel the tip of your nose. Feel the upper lip and the lower lip. Relax into the jaw, allowing the tongue to hang the back of the mouth. Feeling into your throat, a powerhouse. Feel into your heart. Feel it being love. Love for others and love for yourself. And then bring your awareness to your breath. Feeling the belly rise and fall with each and every breath. Then just the next few minutes, focusing on that breath.